Alright, nothing that we can do here, so we will continue to the left. Where we can find... Well... This. There we go. Damn it, he spawned right on top of me. No! I want to hit them with the pie. Because they die in one hit to the pie. Everybody's weak to the pie. Yeah, I don't mind losing the rupee. Damn it! Alright, boomerang it is. Back to basics. Takes too many hits, though. I need to learn to aim better with my pots above my head. Alright, back up to full health, and we can head north here. Where we can find another treasure chest. Inside here we can find the compass. Now you can pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master. Shows up on your map. Works very similar to how it did in the first game. So, hooray! Now I know where to go eventually. But I have a couple other things to take care of first. So, let's head over here. And here we can find a triangle thing. Link in his eyes, a Hasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Well, we'll see what we have down here. Nothing, huh? Would they let me push the other one? Right? I don't think I... Well, I did screw it up, but I don't... Oh, this is not good. All right. We can come back for that. We'll be, we'll be fine. We can head over here, though, to the big room. Ha! There we go. Much better aim there. More magic, more everything. All right, these guys. Uh, they're only they're only vulnerable when their eye is open. So hit them with the pot when the eye is open, and you win yourself a little bit of a victory. Also, 30 is the max in arrows that you can carry. So there's no point in me picking that up, but I did nonetheless. There we go. Big treasure chest. I want it. Eh? It's locked. If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. Well, I don't have any key right now, so there's that. Uh, I will say, though, that if you're short on uh, life, you can hop down here. And here you can find some fairies if you need them. But I don't. I'm at full health. And then we can warp right back. And all the enemies are still gone, but the pots are back. That's nice. All right, back to this room on the right where we can finally get access to head up here. Remember I talked about that earlier. And now we can't see, so we're gonna have to go this way. All right, step on that. We're gonna go all the way around nonetheless because these things are kind of scary. I don't like these things one bit. All the way around, we just wanna go over to the right. That was our goal. All right, pick up these pots here. There are Stalfos here. So take out the spooky skeletons with either your boomerang or, or pot. Everything is weak to pot. Right, there we go. A little bit more magic. Arrows that I don't need. All right, keep on picking up all the pots and eventually you will find the thing that you need. I think it's, is it always scripted to be the last one? It might be. But we get ourselves the key. Not the big key, just a, a, a key. So we need to head over to the left here. Open the door with our key, and now we lost the key. But we can now head this way. And find out what awaits us over here. Oh, super. This is not looking good. I see so many anti-fairies over there. Up to 430 rupees. Whatever shall I use that for? Oh. Damn it. Stop moving on me. Get, there we go. I think I'm maxed out on magic now. Uh, that's, that's no good. Yeah, he doesn't last long with his eye open. He falls asleep very quickly. Ha, there we go. Ten arrows for my trouble that time. Hey, get back here. I'm hitting you with my boomerang. Very important. And the anti-fairies come out. So we can step on that. Uh. And we can get ourselves the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. Right. Uh, careful. 
Careful! I, I lost a heart and got a heart right back. All right, let's head here. Hey, let this reset for me. I'll push this up so that I can continue forward. We'll head back here. Back to the big room. They also sucked away some of my magic, didn't they? Open your eyes. No! He opened his eyes and I wasn't ready. Open your eyes. Ha! There we go. There we go. Not apparently very good with the uh, the boomerang. Before I do anything else, I should probably get some heals. Eventually. Give me give me a little bit of time here. Damn it. The stuff hosts really just don't care. They're busy doing their own thing. Alright, let's uh let's take you out. There, that see that's that's not difficult. What am I doing? All right, head down here. Just run into fairies. Heal me. Thank you. And then we can grab the big treasure chest here. And we got the bow. You can shoot arrows until you run out. No, Stalfos. Stalfos heads. They're floating around all over the place. And, and then they just go. That's the end of the Stalfos Heads adventure. So let's head up here and head through this door. Oh no, it's dark. But I do have a lamp. Let's use that. Hey look, I can see a little bit now. All right, we'll light that up too. Yeah, all right, so what I'm supposed to do against these guys is uh, use the bow and arrows. So, wake them up. There we go, one arrow there. We do need to light this up again. Hook back on the bow and arrow, aggro you. Hit them there. We got ourselves a key. Yeah, I don't care about the light anymore. Give me that. We'll head through here. Map should show me. Yeah, it does show me a little bit here. Want to head through here, I believe. For rupees, rupees everywhere. Uh, uh, Nerve-wracking rupees. All right, we got them. We got them. Let's head back here. And head to the left to get ourselves a key that leads up to the second floor. More anti-fairies. These guys are kind of bad news. I can't even hit them with the pot. No! They sucked out my magic. They're taking my life. Damn it, stop it. All right, three hearts, not looking good. Oh, we already have the bow and arrow on. All right, aggro you. Ha! Wait for it. Ha! It does take a little bit sometimes. All right, there we go. Ha! Another heart. Don't believe. Yeah, these are not buttons anymore. They were. Ah, no, that one is. That's the button that we want to head forward. And we have balls everywhere. Just dodge. Just dodge. Actually, can I hang out here? I think I actually need to press one of the buttons, though. No. No, damn it. All right. Which one is it? I swore that there was a button I had to press. Otherwise, I just hang out in the middle and then nothing bad happens. Oh, it was that one. I just didn't step on it properly. All right, let's move forward. More Stalfos. I can take them out with the bow and arrow. Probably should. But the problem is they don't like hanging around long enough for me to do that. That's why we stick with the boomerang. Stalfos just 
don't care about anything. All right, down you go. Pick this up. I go you. Uh oh. He was not weak to pot. No. Oh. Damn it. All right, bow and arrow. Which is what I thought I had on before. Two. Down he goes. And we can head into the boss room. What am I doing? I'm playing terribly right now. We need some hearts back. Hey, look, there's one. So these guys take two arrows. The pots aren't gonna do shit. All right, I think we're ready. Wait for you, wake up. Here we go. Down you go. Down you go. All right, let's see what else there are here. Well, what else there is? Arrows, another heart, more arrows. And here is the actual boss room. All right. <laughs> no, how did I miss? There we go. Damn it. So many arrows. All right, down goes one. This is why we got fairies. No. Damn it, fairies. Work for me better here. All right. And you go. What? All right, there's another one down. We're down to just three. We're halfway there. All right. Just you. All right, at this point, he just, he just comes right at you. Down you go, and we get ourselves the heart container. That was way too close, though. We got ourselves a heart container, and we've won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sahasrala. Two pendants remain. And I get a full heal. I get all my magic back. And they let us out of the dungeon, which is always nice. That's really nice, actually. But I believe that at this point, we want to get uh, to Sahasrala straight away. That's our next goal. So let's just go back there. I don't even know why I'm taking you out. <laughs> he just looks so pissed at me when he looks at me with that side eye. But, back to Sahar Sahasrala. It's such a weird name for them to have given him. Everybody else seems to have like a relatively short name and then here comes Sahasrala. Um, actually, can I just hop down? Yeah, let's just bypass a little bit of this. Hey, look, I made it. Sahasrala, I found the thing that we were looking for. Here it is. Oh, you've got the Pendant of Courage? Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Link, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendant and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. And we get the Pegasus shoes. I love these things. He gives you the Pegasus shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. Help, a helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. Could, could you tell me more? Anything, buddy? Nope, that's it. 